mostly raw. In that, this one summer, I had gone through. And now what was so interesting about that, I don't eat fried and greasy food. I live in Louisiana, the birthplace of Popeyes, but I don't eat the Popeyes. <laughs> so why do I have gallstones? And so what I discovered was it was due to stress. I was under a tremendous amount of stress. And what was happening with me, if anyone in here is either part of a blended family or you're the co-parent of a blended family, you know that it can be extremely stressful and not coming from that background and then it's kind of at my feet now with my fiance and this child I was not handling that very well so for me what I did was every day I drink warm lemon water with apple cider vinegar and I drink 48 ounces of fresh juice a day and I had raw greens and maybe some watermelon that's about all I ate. Not because I was trying to do that on purpose. I just didn't have much of an appetite. Because in the summertime, you're busy. A lot of things are going on. It's, there's a lot more daylight. So I just wasn't hungry. And then it took about maybe two and a half weeks, and the gallstones passed. I thought I was dying when that was happening. <laughs> but they did pass without me having um, to go through surgery. But that led me to do a lot of research concerning stress and how it affects every system in your body on the physiological level. So, um, does anyone here know about the science behind stress? Okay, I'm going to go through it real, real quick. So, in our nervous system, there's one part called the autonomic nervous system. The two branches of the autonomic nervous system are the sympathetic system and the parasympathetic system. The sympathetic system is the fight or flight response. So if someone is, if you're at the bank and someone comes in and says, everyone, don't move, put your hands up, they have a gun. That sympathetic nervous system is going up like it's being activated because at that moment, in order for you to survive, you have to decide, am I going to fight or am I going to run? The parasympathetic nervous system is about rest and digest. Mm -hmm. So now when everyone's calm, we just had a, a wonderful lunch and it wasn't real heavy. It was, to me, it was just right, but I skipped the baked potato. Mm -hmm. But it was just right. You're resting, you're learning, you're not stressed, you're digesting. So at the time that the sympathetic nervous system is activated, and that's activated for our survival. You're not thinking about digesting. You're not thinking about sitting down for a meal. Everything in your body prepares your body in order to fight or run. So your heart rate <coughs> increases. Blood rushes to your muscles because you need more power in order to run or if you have to fight, whatever it is that you have to do. But what happens in chronic stress when you have a flat tire. You told your teenager to clean the room and to do the dishes, and you come home after being gone for 10 hours, <laughs> and everything is in the exact same location that it was. The dishes are dirty, there's more dishes in the sink, and there are more clothes on the floor. Not to mention the fact that that wonderful presentation that you stayed up nights and not spending time with your significant other, and you didn't get the credit for it. Then somebody took your parking spot and cut you off in traffic. So that stress response is constantly activated. It goes up, it doesn't even come down. It just builds and builds and builds and builds. That's the chronic stress response. Your sympathetic nervous system is chronic.